So hi everyone, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with Ryan and Giselle. And they came all the way from NYU, which is about a block away. <laughs> it was a long walk. It took them a week. <laughs> it rained and snowed and they came barefoot. Uh, at any rate, they've gone through the entire Museum of Interesting Things. Then they stayed here about two more weeks. Um, and, and now I'm, they're going to open a new acquisition. I picked the biggest boxes I could find for them. And I do this like a 40-second street shell game. Now, I remember 40-second street shell games. I'm born and raised. And you'd go to 42nd Street. There'd be a guy with three shells and a quarter under one of them. And he'd mix them up like that. And you'd have to guess which uh, shell had the quarter underneath it. Uh, and then you'd win something. Uh, the only only difference here is I don't have three shells, there isn't a quarter under any of these boxes, and you win nothing. Uh, so it's really not like a shell game except for this one detail. I do mix the boxes up like this. So this is me mixing up the boxes. Are you guys confused? No. no. Good, I, then I have to still do this. <laughs> Bad oh. answer. Are you guys confused? Yes. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> they learn quick at NYU. <laughs> I graduated there. I know. It took me five tries. Uh, so at any rate, pick a box, any box. Uh, ladies first. Uh, this one. That one over there. There you go. And there's your uh, scalpel. And then pick a box, any box. That one over there. There you go. And there's your scalpel. And you can open them already. Go ahead. Yes, Da -da -da. And now we'll do this from the back. And try not to cut yourselves, cut each other, or cut me. <laughs> but if you do, I do have these pre Civil War bleeders that I could cure you with. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Which I don't think you'd want to use. Because <laughs> that puts, like, I think 12 blades into you and cuts you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'll cure you. <laughs> I think it cures you of everything from bedwetting to, uh, <laughs> to rheumatism. Probably caused bedwetting. <laughs> Alright. You hear the Mission Impossible thing? Mm -hmm. I got a newspaper. <laughs> yeah. I got lots of newspapers. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool, Giselle. You're so funny. That's great. So, this is made out of the horn of a Giselle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, but this is one of those like Ford Model T car horns. Uh, Wait, we'll let you do the first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to do that twice. <laughs> kind of like the Marx Brothers. That's funny. And I find that people, I, I didn't want to say this before, but now I'll tell you, that people often open a box that's ironic or uncanny to them in some sort of way, and your name is Giselle, and they would have originally made horns out of the horn, possibly of it. So the irony there is unmistakable. <laughs> so everyone's getting a kick out of that one. <laughs> and what have you got? Uh, I'll be a record. record. Oh, that's so cool. And if I bought a record, it's got to be a funny, cool song. Now, I'm in denial about glasses, so you're seeing nothing on my face, right? No. Good answer. Okay, one side says laugh, clown, laugh, but I don't think that's the one I bought it for. Hello, Montreal. Now, you're going to be like, why did he buy any one of these songs? Actually, Hello, Montreal, if I recall correctly, because I'm trying to get back to my research. But I remember that the lyrics to Hello, Montreal, and this is an original Columbia record, the lyrics are actually Prohibition. So this is a Prohibition song. Um, during Prohibition and before Prohibition, there were a lot of these songs like, Soon I'll Be Dry Like Sahara. <laughs> you know, because the whole country was like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be able to drink alcohol. So there were all these kind of funny spoof songs on uh, the the whole prohibition coming to... And it was around 1918, 1919, and until around 1932 or so, the prohibition really had... It was almost 10, you know, 20 years that we had prohibition in this country, which is amazing that it lasted that long, but it was because people were making millions of dollars on this, doing speakeasies like my speakeasy, <laughs> which is tomorrow. Uh, although my pre mine isn't a prohibition the speakeasy technically, because alcohol is no longer illegal. Um, but that's kind of a cool one for you to open. We'll have to find out if there's any irony. 80% of people open it up and it's ironic to their personality. You're probably not even... Are you drinking age? I am. I oh, am. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, at least... Because I know you go to NYU, but you could be any part of it. <laughs> so, so that's... Okay, well, then, then this is proper. <laughs> yeah. You to open this because you're good. Uh, but yeah, that's a really cool one. And when we, when we have our Prohibition speakeasy, I'm going to play this song for the first time. And, uh, and we'll get to hear the lyrics. But that's a really cool one.
So that's really awesome. Maybe it's ironic because he needs to reduce his consumption. Is that right? Oh, okay. He needs <laughs> he, to go dry. Yeah, like the he needs to dry up a bit. <laughs> ah, so there is an irony <laughs> that we know about now. Okay. Well, at least he's legally. <laughs> legally. I can legally drink now, yeah. <laughs> yes. He should drink less, but legally less. <laughs> Now we know. <laughs> I love. I, yeah, that's it. So eighty cool. percent of people open up. Uh, ironic. Then ten percent open up opposites to their personality, and ten percent it's random. Uh, so I never know which it is. I don't never be dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it flips. We found out there is a five percent people that it actually flips, and you open up the package he should have opened, and he opens up the package you should have opened. Oh, mm. I think we chose wisely, <laughs> <laughs> but I think you chose wisely, <laughs> and so it's almost like the package picks you. In a way. Wow! So off we go. Cheerios, guys. Bye. <laughs>